Hi, um, I'm Emily Russo. I wrote this book, um, and yeah, it's National Poetry Month, so I guess I'm going to read from it. Um, Wave Archive, it is called, and it deals with sort of some changes, changing and changing states of consciousness, um, and the impulse to record such movements of brainwave. Um, and I want to read from the final section in the book, which is perhaps the most apt for our current moment. I don't know. Um, it's called In the Compartment. You are in a house, attempting domesticity, warding off hysteria and irresistible impulses. For instance, you've never been more aware of the weight of the brain on the neck. You respect logic, but can only take it so far before emotion seeps in the wind at the start of the event. You would like to number your feelings and place them in miniature folders, fold them and find an adequate compartment, an archive for the changes of the waves of the brain. The filing cabinet could live at the edge of the Atlantic Ocean and move in and out with the tide. No. It would stand firm amongst the changing tides. It would be waterproof and benefit from salt water. The color would change from deep green to lighter green. What was once clustered and dispersed would get compiled. You would return daily to the object by the ocean and you alone would have the ability to use the information. The feelings inside interacting with each other in the dark. Of course, the contents of the compartment shift. What time is it? You weren't removed from your body, but weren't exactly in there either. All around the edges shook, the porch, the porch at the front of the house and just beyond that, the filing cabinet, where you'll place this and just beyond that, the ocean, original waves. The house is still intact, brain waves weigh nothing. A text message received, what's up? You gutted the house. The house with the view of the compartment. You had a strong feeling about it. Ownership, the word love, a showy house an edge taken. You think you can see the deep green filing cabinet from the attic window. The man said, because what is consciousness but a wave of the hand? A wave. Avoid storms of any sort. Do not walk outside when it's windy. Move to a place where the temperature is consistent, but still look at photographs of the seasons. Travel infrequently and prepare weeks ahead of time if the need arises. Follow the centuries old rule of living a temperate life. The archive is wild. The compartment should hold real answers. The emotional archive is your only boat. Now that you're in the ocean, looking at the compartment from the other side, you're confused. According to the man, logic is or had been more reliable than intuition. According to you, logic had never been more reliable than intuition. Your body moves back and forth between the house and the ocean. You place your thoughts in the compartment as you pass. Near the dreary February ocean, you're choosing to live austerely. You're swimming. Accruing emotional documents requires labor. The man said, some women are logical and you are not one of them. You've never felt so clued in, so able to access wave brain. You can inhabit the archive whenever you want. The tumultuous she, the brain waves looking sharp on the tundra, especially you who were sought after, arranging the archive, going to just store it away or find a method for display. A whale moves in the night ocean, deeper inside the house, fresh white 300 thread count sheets. The horizon is an imaginary line. The archive is vertical. The horizon is unchanging. The tides are changing, as in temperament. The body becomes more muscular than softer, forms and unforms, steps between wave and archive, word drips into water. The house on the horizon with the compartment and the ocean in between, short-term memory, some loss, vitals, same-ish, condition, steady, condition, steady, patient, ruled more by emotion than by reason, decision, respected but not recommended. It's always nice to talk to you. I like when you come in. Please do get sleep. After you wake up, it will be gone. You have a 3% chance of dying from your condition in the next 10 years at the rate you're going, at the rate you're going. The brain is trainable. Make a list of things that are trainable. Thank you.